Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So today we are observing a very unique festival, unique to our Gaudiya Sampradaya. Followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu observe this festival. This festival is known as Pani Hati festival because originally it happened in a small village called Pani Hati. This festival is also called Danda Mahotsav. Danda means a punishment, a festival of punishment. Contradictory. How can the festival, means which is joyous, be a punishment? How can punishment, which is miserable, be a festival? So we will see all of that in a short while. <coughs> Also, this festival conveys a very profound spiritual message. Krishna says, Naham Prakasha Sarvasya Yoga Maya Samavrutaha. I'm not revealed to everyone. There is a curtain of Yoga Maya that is covering me. So, Krishna, who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the Param Satya, who is the Param Tattva, and in this material world, all the living entities are in a spirit of independence from the Lord. Don't want to surrender to the Lord. Want to lead a life independent of the Lord. To them, the Lord is not revealed easily. Krishna Bahir Mukha Jeev. Our position in this material world is Krishna Bahir Mukha Jeev. We are Jeeva, but we are Bahir Mukha, turned away from Krishna. But this is not a natural situation. Just like the sunshine cannot hope to be independent of the sun. Can sunshine ever be independent of the sun? Sunshine is a dependent truth on the independent truth, the sun. But in the same way, we are like the sunshine, an emanation from Krishna, Jiva Shakti. And the Shakti man is Krishna. But we are desiring that we will be independent of Krishna. That is the mistake of the living entities. And so we have come here to this material world. Prabhupada explains, just like there is a material world here. We were all born. Some babies are just born recently. We were born maybe some several decades ago, we were born to this world. And Prabhupada says, in the same way, there is another world called the spiritual world. Parastasmattu bhavonyat vyakto vyaktat sanatanaha. So there's another spiritual world. This is not a myth. This is not an imagination. This is the truth. 
So the living entities who are here in the material world, who have turned away from Krishna, how will they ever be rectified from their illusory, imagined position of being independent of the Lord? So Lord has one immediate expansion tattva called Prakasha tattva. The Lord's Prakasha tattva's function is to Prakasha, to make, to illuminate, to reveal the truth to the living entities who are in ignorance. We are in such an ignorance, just like the sunshine thinking I will be independent of the sun. Most ridiculous. Most impossible. That is our situation. To such ignorant living entities to bring prakasha, to illuminate them, there is a an expansion of the Lord and that expansion of the Lord is Balaram. So Krishna is the original person and Balaram is his immediate expansion and his, he is Prakasha Tattva. Krishna is Paratattva or Bhagavat Tattva. Non-different. Krishna and Balaram, both are on the same spiritual absolute position. But Balaram is the one who reveals Krishna. And the one who reveals the living to the living entities about all this is Guru. And that Guru is actually a representation of Balaram Prakasha Tattva. This is the understanding. The Guru is someone who reveals Krishna. Guru is someone who gives Krishna to the forgetful living entities. So when Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Balaram Prakasha Tattva of the Lord came as Nityananda Prabhu. Just as Guru reveals Krishna, Balaram reveals Krishna, Nityananda Prabhu reveals Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One of the important Leelas of Nityananda Prabhu in Navadvip, he shows how to understand Krishna, how to please Krishna. And one of the important leelas of Nityananda Prabhu was to go around and preach to the town folks of N N Navadvip and all kinds of people, including Jagai and Madai. He wanted to give Krishna. He wanted to give Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to everyone. That is the way even we can please Nityananda Prabhu by preaching Krishna consciousness. Now, in Chaitanya Leela, there is the devo great devotee Raghunath Das Goswami. Before he became a Goswami, before he became, came to that state, he was born into a very rich family in a place called Saptagram. And from a very young age, he had the great opportunity to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he had just taken sannyas, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taken sannyas. And he had a strong desire to come to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was making an attempt to come to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But his family members, father, mother, would not allow him. 
they thought that no our son because they came from a rich family they thought their son our son should be like us he should inherit all our property he should inherit the position that we have and he should be a normal worldly person but ragunath das did not have any interest in the material activities he wanted to be with chaitanya mahaprabhu serve Ma the mission of chaitanya mahaprabhu and so he would try to run away from home as a young boy young man and his father would send his guards and bring him back so this happened many many times and every time ragunath das's father would bring him back so ragunath was very unhappy he was longing to be with chaitanya mahaprabhu to serve his mission be in his association so around that time near saptagram there is a small village nada village pani hatti nityananda prabhu had come with a lot of his associates nityananda prabhu would be traveling around in bengal broadcasting krishna consciousness on the order of chaitanya mahaprabhu so he came there and he would do kirtans he would tell about krishna to people and he had hundreds of associates with him or thousands of associates with him so ragunath das when he heard that nityananda prabhu has come to a neighboring village he came to see him and from a distance out of humility from a distance he was offering his respects but chaitanya mahaprabhu's associates sorry nityananda prabhu's associates pointed out ragunath das is there far away so nityananda prabhu sent word bring him so they may sent message and ragunath das was brought nityananda prabhu was also he had a sense of a very unique sense of humor and so when ragunath das was brought close to him nityananda prabhu said ragunath you are trying to hide from me and ragunath said no no prabhu not at all and then he said i want to punish you today oh, ragunath das was very happy nityananda prabhu is going to punish me so punishment from the lord is very from the master is very desirable because it's a kind it's a form of mercy of the master so nityananda prabhu said the punishment is i know you are coming from a very rich family you feed all my associates and i have a special request you should make chida dahi flat rice mixed with yogurt flat rice mixed with condensed milk and two parts like this you should distribute to everybody so ragunath das was very happy to accept this punishment he had all the resources so he brought all his assistants from his home and got purchased a lot of chira dahi mixed mangoes to it mixed bananas to it chaitanya charitamrita says he mixed bananas and honey to all of this and served nityananda prabhu and all the associates on the banks of ganga and at that time nityananda prabhu made a statement uh, we belong to the cowherd clan and coming on a picnic like this on the bank of a river and having delicious food to eat is something that we love to actually this said statement is is significant because nityananda prabhu is balaram and krishna and balaram and the cowherd boys would go on the banks of yamuna and they would have their picnic every day all the things that their mothers had brought had sent with them they would share called vana bhoj so that's what nityananda prabhu was reminiscing and at that time 
Nityananda Prabhu by his meditation brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there and only a few fortunate souls it is said could see Chaitanya and Nityananda and there was a ecstatic uproarious kirtan with Chaitanya Nityananda and chanting of the holy names which filled the air and this Chiradahi which was given to Nityananda and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was served to everyone so this was a festival and then towards the end of the festival mystically Chaitanya Mahaprabhu vanished from the scene and only Nityananda Prabhu and the other associates were there and the next day Nityananda Prabhu was moving away from there to another place and Raghunath Das once again came and requested him that my situation is I'm not able to my parents are holding me back I want to be serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and now at that time Nityananda Prabhu placed his lotus feet on the head of uh, Raghunath Das who was lying fallen down at his feet and then Nityananda Prabhu said very soon you will be freed from all the obstacles and exactly like that in a few next few days or weeks Raghunath Das was able to go and be with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu so if we have to attain the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu service to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu we should get the blessings of Nityananda Prabhu who is the Prakasha Tattva so Raghunath Das received the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu to receive the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu we have to please him Raghunath Das pleased Nityananda Prabhu by fulfilling his request to have a big festival of Chidadahi so this is the principle that we need the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu to get Chaitanya Mahaprabhu we need the mercy of Balaram to have to attain Krishna's lotus feet and Krishna's service and hence this festival commemorates this important spiritual principle and so in our temple here on the banks of Kalyani we offer Chiradahi to Chaitanya and Nityananda Prabhu and they will go around in a Nauka Vihar and all of us will also receive the prasadam of Chira Dahi. Remembering this pastime, let us pray to Nityananda Prabhu. By Nityananda Prabhu's mercy, Arkabe Nitai Chander Karuna Habe, Samsara Vasana More Kabe Tucha Habe. If we get the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, all our Samsara Vasana all our material desires which keeps us in this material world will go away so this is a special festival where we pray to Nityananda Prabhu to shower his mercy so that all our material desires will go away and we become qualified to go back to the spiritual world with these few reflections we will next proceed to the next part of the festival. Shri Nityananda Prabhu ki, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki, Shri Raghunath Das Goswami ki, Srila Prabhupada who revealed all these things to us, Srila Prabhupada ki, Nitai Go Premanandi. <laughs>